Well, what about Bryce's aspiration? He wants to, oh, he wanted to do homework five times. I didn't even do it once. Everybody close your eyes. Oh, look, he did it all five times. Wow, <laughs> I didn't cheat that at all. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. I haven't even started yet, and my Sims are already in like terrible moods. I really did not set myself up for success when I ended the last episode. I kind of just like let them be. And so um, everyone is very upset, like sad for so many Many reasons. <laughs> this one has three sad mood lists. Our dog just died, so that's kind of the reason, but all of our needs are not helping. I really should work on that. How's everybody doing? Mostly just hungry, I think. What are you doing? <gasps> oh, aspiration completed. Not everyone can achieve social success in such a short time. I think the last thing baby had to do was get followers, so I guess if our follower count updated this morning. Yeah, we have 301. We gained 183 followers today. Well, there you go. <laughs> we, we finished the whole admire icon aspiration, so that worked out pretty well. With that, we got the iconic trait. Iconic sims are the ones who everyone wants to follow. They've earned the admiration of their peers and can now set their sights anywhere on the World Wide Web. Well, that works out really well for me. Thank you, game. Well, anyway, speaking of this whole death situation, I actually built us a new graveyard. We sort of outgrew the previous graveyard that I had made for this legacy challenge, so I did make us a new one. Okay, Barb's going through a distant phase, sure. And I think after Anthony finishes eating, I'll go take you to see it. It might be kind of weird to go to the graveyard at 6 a.m., but hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and I'll head out before work. We've gotta be at work at 8, so we do have time. It's still in the same place, like it's always been in Forgotten Hollow. I just kind of redid the whole thing so that we could have more space to, you know, expand and whatnot. I realize that sounds really bad, but like we have a lot of sims, and they're all gonna die at some point, so I'm gonna need somewhere to leave them, and, and this way I've got space. I actually made an entire video building this, so if you want to go back and watch that, I can link it down below for you. The fact that it is spring and everything is dead is kind of ruining the vibes because it actually was kind of cute when I first built it, but um, this is what it looks like. We've got all of our legacy sims kind of over here. I made a new pet section. These are all the randoms. No, please don't do that. Please don't do that. You don't even know these people. There's really no need for you to mourn random sims. I'm, I'm getting rid of that. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I just don't want to deal with that. But anyway, as you can see, we've got a lot of space to, you know, add in more. I can very easily like scoot these around and, and fit in more if we need to. So we should be good there. I also put Vlad in like his own little special corner and he has a photo now. So good for him. But yeah, that's kind of it. So <laughs> we can go back home. I don't want to spend too much time here in case he like mourns more Sims and gets more upset if that is even possible. Should I like have him cry or something? He's got work in 30 minutes, but maybe if we cry it out, we'll all be better off. So far, only one of my Sims is not miserable, which is actually really impressive, Bryce. I'm, I'm like genuinely proud of you. Now the goal for today is kind of two main things. Number one, I want to get another cat, but I might wait until like everybody's at work and school and stuff so that I'm a bit less overwhelmed. <laughs> and then I also wanted to have Anna work on writing. I started to feel a bit bad that she never finished her aspiration despite being alive twice, so I thought it might be nice if we tried to complete some more bestsellers. She's getting up there in age, so we are running out of time. Maybe she can write a sad book. That actually feels kind of appropriate today. All right, well everyone is off to high school. I did not fix all of their needs, which is maybe a mistake on my part, but hey, it's not my problem. I will worry about that when they get home. Blue does not have work today, so they can be the one to adopt the cat. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I I tend to try and pick the ugliest pet that's available to me, so I think that's my goal, but okay. Oh wow. Honestly, this one, Minnie, kind of speaking to me, but it's only a kitten, so like what's she gonna look like when she gets older? This one, Nacho, is quite funny looking, I must admit. Grant is also kind of funny looking. So that's kind of inspiring to me as well. Should I have both of them come here? I cannot get both cats. I'm warning you right now. We cannot adopt two cats. It is not safe for us to do that. I can barely handle one cat. If I get two, they're just, they're gonna be so unhappy. Ooh, it looks mean. Oh, and the unpause, like the moving while the game is paused thing is really creepy. What about you? Um, okay. <laughs> I regret both of these. Neither of them are very exciting to me, which makes me feel really guilty because like they're just cute little cats and I'm over here like thinking they're they're not even that good. Oh, that one attacked him. <gasps> Maybe I should get that one. You know, I feel like that's a good sign. <laughs> Nacho ran, oh, and hissing at me. Okay. Oh, it hates me. Okay, maybe I shouldn't get that one. I don't know. I, I, the thing is, oh, okay, sorry. That just really scared me. <laughs> the 
game like jumped to Anna. I think it's because she finished her like New Year's resolution. Okay, well, this cat's mean and this one I don't think is that cute. So, so what if we like don't adopt one of those cats and we make one in cast. Thoughts? I'm gonna do it. I'm really sorry. Is this cheating? Is this like wrong of me to do? I feel like it shouldn't matter. I'm just gonna make a random cat and hope that maybe it's less aggressive than the other one. I don't want a cat that hates me. That's really gonna ruin the vibes. I, I really think that would be unpleasant. Oh, maybe I'll just randomize it a few times and see what happens. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I should have picked one of the good ones because these are all kind of generic looking cats. This one is cute though. You know what? No, I'm adopting the mean cat. I've decided Sorry for being so indecisive here for a second. I just got nervous, but I, I want the mean cat. I hope they're still here. Okay, they are. Good, good, good. Okay, Nacho, I'm going to adopt you. My game's being kind of laggy, which is making me feel nervous, but I'm adopting the cat. Should I name it Nacho or should I change it? Chester? Taco? Kitty? Heidi? I don't know. For some reason, Chester is kind of speaking to me. I kind of liked that name. Maybe I'll pick that one. Oh, I think it likes me. Ooh. Oh, it's creepy. That does not look like a cat. I'm I'm sorry, but that thing is so scary looking. I'm so glad I picked this one. I'm sorry, Chester. I'm sorry that like I doubted you and that I almost picked someone else because I, I should have known. You were the one all along. You were always the one. I don't remember if I have a litter box still or not, so I'm gonna triple check. I think I used to have it in here, but then I had a dog, so I got rid of it for a while, but I'll put it back. Maybe it could be purple, because that's kind of cute. And honestly, maybe I'll go back into Cass just to see what Chester's traits are like. I'm kind of curious. Chester is territorial, frisky, and talkative. That's not too bad. The territorial thing makes sense. I like, I understand why she attacked somebody now, but she's cute. Kinda. Her ears kind of look like baby Yoda, but that's fine. Okay, I have the litter box. I have a food bowl still, but I might want to get- Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> I still have the cat tree from before. Okay, never mind. I don't need to get a new cat tree because I never got rid of the old one. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> not that it matters. It's just kind of funny that I, I did not have a cat for a very long time. <laughs> and I just had a cat tree right in my living room. Barb just became good friends with Anna. Well, how is that? Because <laughs> Barb is at school, so. Are they like texting while she's in class or something like that? Probably. Also, Anna stopped writing. I'm sorry, but you have to get back to work. If you want to finish your lifetime goal, you have like one shot left. <gasps> get away! Okay, sorry. Why won't she do it? She keeps like stopping and then going to eat pumpkin pie. I guess she is hungry. But this is more important. Oh my god, Bryce just made 20 simoleons at school. I think we like bribed somebody. That can't be good. <laughs> and a bunch of people are trying to buy babies listings. I think two people have tried to purchase them so far. Oh my god, that stuff needs evolved. I Again. I feel like I evolve these plants every single day and I I don't think that I'm being dramatic Like I, I think I seriously evolve these things like every single day Okay, well, I'm gonna make blue come do a little bit of harvesting and stuff We need to get level eight of the gardening skill for work and we currently have level seven Well, we're like halfway to level eight. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, none of these plants from the front yard need anything So I can't use those. Oh, that's Grant. That's the other cat that I didn't adopt still sitting on my table I'm just gonna pretend that that's not happening. Blue is also like completely frozen. My game, I even restarted it twice, by the way. I wasn't gonna mention it, but my game has been really laggy today. <laughs> Despite all my best efforts, it, it just kind of isn't working very well right now. Who are you and what? Is that the person who brought me the pets? Oh my God, it is the adoption agent. He's swimming in my pool. Uh-oh, Anna finished the book and it is not a bestseller. Okay, <laughs> sorry, Anna. Do you wanna try again? You wanna give that another shot maybe? You could write a motivational book this time. I really, really would like to finish this aspiration. I I would feel really embarrassed if we didn't manage to. Oh, he's leaving. Our adoption evaluation appointment is ending. Okay, well, I hope you had fun swimming in my pool. <laughs> Ooh, Barb, you should invite over classmate Dominic. Who's Dominic? Oh, why is that glitching? That's kind of scaring me. <laughs> this like not loading icon. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know who Dominic is. Oh, here we go. Oh, Dominic Bell. Dang it, it's a cousin. Okay, well, well, we need to find someone to date at some point, but I suppose maybe now is not the time. They also all have practice. We have like football and cheer tonight, so. Oh, don't shower. Actually, oh my God, you have practice right now. You, you're gonna have to go go there, Stinky, and we'll shower when you get back. What's that little icon? The game's kind of scaring me. Recently, we've been having some issues. <laughs> Like things are just not loading well and it, it is beginning to worry me. What is the cat? What is the cat doing over here? Also, how are you already that good of friends with it? You haven't even met her. How it like, 
Actually, how is that possible? You were at work. Anthony is closer to the cat than Blue is, and Blue is the one who adopted her. <laughs> Baby tried to pull off some sophisticated moves as their crush approached, however, the crush was oblivious to the art of the moves, seemingly unimpressed. Oh. Regardless of how the crush reaction was, Baby didn't even know they had it in them to make such daring moves. Baby ended up impressing themselves, earning higher performance. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, good job. Wait, look at how cute they all look. Well, cute maybe is the wrong word. <laughs> Barb's feeling great. The other two, not so much. One of us is happy at least. Okay, well, the kids are aging up in two days. So I think tomorrow or the day after, depending on how the timing goes, will be their last day of high school, which is kind of exciting. I might spend a little bit of time. Oh no, I didn't do this a single time. I didn't do anything for Barb's aspiration. Oh no. All the other kids that we knew aged up as well. Like nobody else is a teen still. Oh God. Okay, Um, I guess I should just add some Somebody random. How about Sean? Sean's in a weenie costume, which is a green flag. Okay, Barb wants to gossip, spread a rumor, and mess around in the cuddle carts. So maybe we could go out there with Sean and we could try to achieve all of those things tonight. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we can try. We can at least easily do the gossiping and rumors and stuff. That's no problem. It's the, the woohooing that I'm not even sure we should do, but especially not in public, in like a theme park ride, that is inappropriate. Appropriate. We're gonna get banned. <laughs> we'll get like actually banned from the theme park. Oh great, and it's raining or snowing. I meant snowing, sorry. That's obviously not rain. All right, Sean, don't mock sadness. Can you please gossip? Spread nasty rumor. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be woohooing with Sean. Considering I'm gonna be gossiping and spreading nasty rumors, I don't anticipate that they're gonna really like me that much, but power conservation received the most votes. Oh, I'll have to fix that when we get home. Yikes. I'm just gonna gossip like four times in a row so I can get that one filled out. What all could I possibly possibly be gossiping about. I don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't do anything. I like what are you, what do you have to say? Oh, you dislike mischief? You know what? Yes. Yes. That's a good idea. Yeah, Sean does not like this. Sean thinks my gossiping is boring. So, we're off to a bad start. At least I finished that, but yeah, I I don't think that we're going to be messing around in the cuddle carts. I also don't want to like be mean on Social Bunny or dump anyone. Do you want to try? Gloomy compliment. We're both upset. Like this isn't going to work. And I'm getting the pop up that it's almost their birthdays. Like it's it's too late. I I failed them as teens. There was too many sims. It was very stressful. Tedious conversation. Oh, I really, I should have tried harder to find someone to date when I was younger. <laughs> I didn't, I forgot. And now look at me. I'm trying to be fast and it's just not working. Sean is cool though. I will say that. I actually really, really like their hair, but I don't think they like me. This is a tedious conversation. What if I cheat away my sadness? What do you think about that? I could cheat away the embarrassment too. No, 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 don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. I'm funny. I can be funny. Look, I'm funny. Oh no. Now she's, there's too many sims. She's afraid of crowded places. Oh my God. <laughs> I relate to this a lot, but it is kind of inconveniencing me. We also have to pee. I, I think it's a lost cause. It's still a tedious conversation. Like this is, we're doomed, actually doomed. My sims are really, really bad at talking to people. Like I am entirely unsuccessful all the time. And when it comes to making friends, I just can't do it. My sims are very, very bad at that. Like nobody likes us. <laughs> You can go home. I know it's crowded, it's stressing you out. We'll just, we'll go home. We'll have a nice, peaceful, at home Monday night. Not bringing Sean <laughs> because Sean doesn't like me. I wonder if we could manage to date Sean when we're a little bit older. Like once we age up in a couple of days, maybe we could revisit this with like better intentions because right now Barb does intend to date them and then dump them. So maybe when Barb gets a little bit older, more mature and she no longer wishes to break Sims hearts, perhaps we'd be in a better position to start dating. <laughs> but as of right now, I'm not sure that we should. How's everybody else doing? Oh my God. Did you see first of all how laggy that was? Second of all, there is a fire. I don't know where. I assume that maybe it's by the grill. Yeah, it's by the grill. Am I meant to help you? Like, do you expect me to put you out? Because I'm getting kind of sick of having to do this. You are so lucky that they are here right now to put you out. So lucky. Because I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to help you. Let's just get ready for bed. Let's just go. We'll take a shower. <laughs> oh, the poor guy was just trying to make dinner and he started a fire. Just go eat some leftovers. That's probably better for you. Everyone else can shower. Anna has not finished her book. I'm sorry to say this, but I am going to make you write again. I'm starting to get nervous. I don't really know how many days we have left and I'm a little bit worried about checking. He's left two. Ooh, that's less than I thought. <laughs> Oh, I wish I hadn't checked. 
Okay, okay. Um, what about everybody else? If I check now, I'll probably forget, right? So it's fine. Okay, Anthony has four. Blue has... Five. Okay, that's a lot of time. That's enough time. So I think that we need to try and get married by next Friday. At least one of us. Because it would be nice if somebody could come to the wedding. Although, that does present the concern that Anthony could die at the wedding. Also, no way Anna's making it to that. But that, like, this is this is the problem though, right? Like, I don't want to have to deal with one of the Sims dying at the wedding. Or, like, the day of the wedding. But I would like to run the possibility of them being able to attend the wedding. But we aren't, we aren't even dating anybody. <laughs> None of the Sims are dating anyone because everybody who I was gonna date is already aged up so maybe I should age them up tomorrow like maybe we should just go for it and have our birthday tomorrow oh but then I need to build a new house oh my god we have a lot to do <laughs> There is a lot going on right now. Oh my god, every single person in this house is so dramatic. Just go to bed. Stop crying. You'd think they'd be used to death by now, but you're like really letting it ruin the whole episode, and it's kind of rude. I hate to like force Anna to stay up, but she is getting kind of close to finishing the book, so I might try and make her do it just to see if we can succeed at this, because it would be really good if we got a bestseller out of this. Oh, <laughs> we got a bestseller out of this. <laughs> okay, well that works out pretty well. Here, do you want to come sell? to publisher. We made two books today. And then you just need to get level 10 of the writing skill. And right now, you're not very far into that. Okay. Well, you got two days. <laughs> you have two days left to finish your lifelong goal. So, no pressure. I'm serious. I feel like really guilty about this. The fact that I have failed my sim so badly. She literally lived twice and I couldn't even get her to finish her aspiration. Like, that, that is pitiful of me. This should have been easy. We could have done two aspirations. <laughs> But no, didn't even try, really. In my defense, it gets very overwhelming when you have this many sims. Like, it's really hard to focus on the individual desires of six people at once. So, th that's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my teens didn't get up to much. That's why Anna hasn't finished her aspiration. It's just, there's a lot going on, okay? At all times. And it's kind of overwhelming. What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god! How? Is there another one already? You just left it on? Oh. Okay, second fire of the day. Cool, cool. Super, super cool. I actually- What? See, this is the problem! This is how Anna died before! Because she caught on fire and then ran away. So I didn't know she was on fire? Oh. Well, it's a good thing we have this guy over here. Otherwise, I'd be dead. You are my hero. <laughs> I promise I won't forget that I owe my life to your heroic actions. Okay. Okay. Well, what I was going to say... Hang on. Let me fix this stuff. What I was going to say is that I am cheating away our fears of fire. Because I actually cannot deal with that. Like, at all. The fears of fire is why we have so many fires. Because... Oh, I might get rid of a couple of these. You don't need to be afraid of a dead-end job. You can keep the cow plants in death. But, like, the job thing? That's annoying. Fear of being cheated on. Fear of the dark. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> that makes me feel really bad. But the fear of fire, it just makes it more likely for us to start fires. And that sucks. Like, that's a lose-lose for everybody. So I don't really want that. We already had two today. And I hate to say it, but I think that's enough. I think two in one day is, is plenty. I also think that I'd like to go to school with the teens today. So hopefully they can get their needs. Oh my god, why won't you eat? Oh my god. Hopefully we can get our needs, like, slightly improved before the school day starts. Today? is probably going to be our last day because the teens are going to age up in one day. So we should make the most out of this and really, really try and get to know some people while we're there. <laughs> because this is our last shot. I should also probably try and earn a little bit of extra money while I'm here, because um, if we're aging up today, then that means we're also going to need to build a new house, like, really soon. <laughs> probably, like, this week. And so we need to make sure we have some money for that. Do we have practice after school today? Oh, we don't? Oh, so yesterday was our last one and I didn't even notice? Oh. <laughs> Well, okay. Ooh, Angelique looks pretty. We should get to know her. I'm just trying to keep my options open. I want to make sure that we've got lots of... Oh, she got hit in the face of the football. Okay. You can't... The, the kids, when they're playing football, you, like, actually can't talk to them. <laughs> they don't stop playing football. They just keep playing, and then you stand there, like, trying to talk to them, and nothing happens. Well, what about Bryce's aspiration? He wants to... Oh, he wanted to do homework five times. I didn't even do it once. Everybody close your eyes. Oh, look, he did it all five times. Wow. <laughs> I didn't cheat that at all. He he did it. He finished his homework five times. He also wants to reach level three of an after school activity, earn and keep an A, and attend career day, of which I have done none of those things. Oh, is today career day? Today's career day. Oh, well, there you go. I did it on purpose. I have planned all of
of this. I came here today for school so that we could attend career day. What is your issue? Familial distress from being near family. I just need to escape this family. Okay. I realize that Barb is having a distant face, <laughs> but that is too real. She's also stressed about the fires, about her unfulfilled dreams, about puberty. She's embarrassed because of her acne. This poor girl is having a really, really rough time today. I can't believe she said she wants to get out of this family. Again, I get it. We are a little bit cursed. You can't say it out loud. Okay, well, time for class, ladies. Let's go, get a move on. Oh, it's, it starts at 10. <laughs> I thought they were gonna start class at nine. 10 is a long time of free time. That's actually kind of nice. April just became good friends with baby. Okay, sure, sure. Social Bunny is wild because <laughs> your sim just gets pop-ups that like, oh, you're good friends with someone now. And I'm like, I've never even spoken to you. Literally not once have I talked to that sim. Why are the writing and archeology span skills. See, we should have come to school more often because we would have had so many skills, but I just didn't. Lunch is short today because we've got career day, but you can come try and get a veggie slider. I don't know if you're going to have time because at this point by the- <gasps> Adriana Dillard thinks Baby Bell is swell and wants to become best friends. Okay, why not? It's nice to have a bestie. I'm okay with that. Oh, but now we're not besties with Isabella anymore. This is the thing. I never remember who my sim's best friend is. And then like this happens where it's like, oh, you've fallen out of touch with so-and-so, but like, I, I didn't mean to. And everybody wants to be my best friend. I get like constant requests to be best friends with people. And then they get mad if I say no. So I'm just, it, it puts me in a very difficult position. Oh, we're at career day. <laughs> The career day really isn't actually that interesting. Like you just kind of come around and, and talk to each of these people about their careers and then you leave. But you know what? Bryce does want this. So it's, it's nice that he's getting the opportunity to attend. They actually all have a pretty decent amount of points. Like baby has 3000 already. Is there anything that I want to buy? If we got like incredibly friendly, we would be so much better at talking to people. I might get that. That's a good idea. Okay, well now I can make friends very quickly. Watch this. I'm gonna come introduce myself to this Kylie person and we'll be like Insta friends. It's so good. Look, see, zero relationship bar. All of a sudden, friend status. And all I had to do was say hi. We should have gotten this sooner because when I had to make 10 teen friends, this would have been so easy. <laughs> I didn't have enough points though. Uh oh. Bryce, buddy, please don't pee your pants. Please don't pee your pants. That would be like actually so embarrassing if you did that. All right, career day ends in about 40 minutes. This has been a somewhat productive final day of school. Although I, I didn't really have a chance to talk to many people. So my attempts to make some friends have failed. And now we're playing football in the auditorium. Really? That doesn't feel like a good idea. I feel like that's a surefire way to get in serious trouble. Like it's the middle of career day at school and we're just like tossing around a football. I can't imagine the teachers would be very pleased about this, but they're not saying anything. So I think I may have survived that one. Okay, well, an uneventful final day of school has ended and I guess we should just go home. We need to age up the Sims, but I think I might save that for next episode. And obviously we also need to build a new house, which is kind of exciting but a little bit scary. So I'm gonna do that on Thursday on my Twitch channel. I will of course make a video about it as well, but I need to build the house first. So I'm gonna start that on Thursday at four o'clock Eastern time. I'm gonna link my Twitch channel down below. If you go and follow me right now and turn on notifications, you won't miss it when I go live. It's kind of fun to be there when we're doing these things live because then you get to like be a part of, you know, offering suggestions and stuff. It takes me a long time to figure out like what I wanna do and how I wanna build it with these legacy houses because obviously it's, it's it's kind of a high stakes sort of build because we're gonna play in it for a long time with like some very beloved Sims. So if any of you have any suggestions that you wanna leave down below for the kind of house that you think baby should have, feel free to let me know. Oh, oh, Anthony got promoted. That's good, I needed the money. I'm worried that an extra 22K isn't gonna be enough, but we'll see. Oh, that reminds me, baby has to sell some of these things. We need to ship a couple of these things off to the buyer. Did you do it? Why won't she do it? Ship to buyer, ship to buyer. I don't understand why she won't do it. Ship to buyer. There we go. Okay. How about this one? Oh my God, please. <laughs> okay. We shipped them both. I could probably sell a couple of these things, like some upgrade parts. We could sell our homework now, sell some plates. But on that note, friends, I am going to end this video right here. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this challenge and you maybe miss some past episodes and you want to go back and watch them. Oh, wait, hang on. We've got good money in here. I'm going to link the playlist for you down below. And with that, I'm going to leave and I'll I'll catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody.
Well, what I'm actually gonna do is keep selling plates and then I'll leave. I just wanna get like every last little bit of money that I can for and build the next house. We've got 26,000, which should be enough. 